Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2021 and a half Cedar Creek Champagne 38 ERD fifth wall. This is a elevated rear dent with a lot of outside storage. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside of the RV, the outside of the RV, and then we'll close it all up and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now up inside the new Cedar Creek Champagne 38 ERD here. We are gonna spin our way through the RV and then we'll head back outside. We're gonna start back here in the rear. This is an elevated rear den, so you do have a couple steps to walk up into the living room area here. Nice large flat screen TV on the back wall back there. You have some cabinets on each side. A little bit of accent LED lighting up above there. Electric fireplace, some cabinets down below. The IRV technology radio there, which is also currently playing the DVD construction video that they put in all their uh, Cedar Creeks. Uh, really nice video. Definitely recommend you watch that, guys. They have that on their website and their YouTube channel. I think I might have even put it on mine at one time. Um, but basically, it kind of shows you how the camper is built. You know, hung cage, aluminum frame construction. Goes into some pretty good detail, just kind of showing you how they put it all together. Really nice construction for the Cedar Creek. Now back here you can see you do have two opposing sofas here and those will actually fold out and make into beds. So you could sleep four people back here pretty comfortably if you had guests. Now this customer chose to order his with the optional carpet back here. So you can do this carpet which is a nice rebond padded carpet or you can do the Leno floor. Spinning on around here so you can see a little bit better. You have the uh, power theater seat, which does have some cup holders in the middle, a little bit of storage there. And it also has a USB charger port on each side there, which has basically got your power button to recline it back. Um, that couch is kind of a freestanding couch, so you could scoot it left or right or in or out a little bit, but when you do go to travel, you would have to make sure it's pushed back out of the way so that the slide doesn't hit it. There's also an electric outlet down there as well. They use a nice hard stained real wood kind of valance here. And they also have the day shade, which you can kind of see through, kind of looks like a little bit of a screen material. And then they have a night shade as well to black things out. The unit you'll see when we get outside has the frameless looking windows on the outside side walls and those are also dual pane windows as well. Lots of room here to entertain or again have your guest have a little bedroom area here if you needed to. Looking up here at the roof, you can see Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning Returns here. This one was ordered with three air conditioners, two standard, third's an option. Um, but you can see the returns here. Instead of the big square that you're used to seeing in RVs over the years, uh, this is kind of enclosed a little bit better. It's just a little bit quieter than your traditional large square RV roof, the old style stuff. Uh, you can also see dual track air conditioner ducts running down the center so it just flows in and out better uh, you also have led kind of pancake lights up there as well electric outlet over here you have a little grab handle to help you get up and down the steps a little bit of lighting there in the valance The slide controls, we'll get to that, but you have your upstairs slides here. The controls are right there. There's a little bit of a counter space here if you wanted to set something up here. And also, there's some accent LED lighting here as well. A 
Now, freestanding dinette here, it has two traditional RV chairs with uh, some storage in them. And then there's two fold-up chairs that are currently stored under the bed. Some more accent lighting in those uh, panels there. Now you can see here, the unit comes standard with the TST tire pressure monitoring system. This little screen here, you can put it in your truck and basically kind of see what's going on with your tires. That's very cool. Um, this was also ordered with the optional uh, camera system. This is a four camera prep system by Furion. You'll see them when we get outside as well, but seven inch monitor screen here. There is a little thing that'll go on each side so you can see down the side. There's one above the entry door here and also one on the back. Uh, so it's a really nice system. Now some people choose to use this inside the RV as well and there's actually an electric adapter you can get to plug it into 110 volt or it is uh, got a USB thing that you could plug into like a USB outlet throughout the RV. That dinette table also has a leaf extension. It's currently laid down there on the ground, but that will go in there, giving you more room for those extra two chairs. But when you have that leaf in, make sure you remember to take it out before you close the slide, because if you don't, it will go right through the nice, pretty side of the island there. High rise spring sprayer faucet there it does have the undermount stainless sink, kind of a 60 40 split, I guess it is, there on the sink sizes. And it has two of those strainer cover things there to kind of strain your dishes on or cut your vegetables on, whatever you want to use them for. Over here on this side, we have the large insignia oven, 3.7 cubic foot gas oven four burner stovetop has a little blue accent LED lighting above the knobs there uh, but you also have an oven light in there as well you can turn those on and off separately you have the large insignia microwave slash convection oven feature here as well uh, now I will say there's been a lot of shortages in the RV industry I'm sure some of you guys have watched some of these videos that other guys do as well kind of giving you updates on stuff so some RVs may get the optional convection microwave some may do a regular microwave depending on what's available at the time um, you know as you're kind of ordering things and talking with your sales guys be sure to kind of go over things with them like that um, it's just kind of crazy times right now unfortunately with parts supplies and things so some come different ways and some can be ordered different ways as well depending on what you want over here on the left, you have a large pantry pull-out tr uh, drawers there. There's also an electric outlet back in there as well, uh, but quite a bit of storage space there. Currently using the large LG refrigerator system here, which does have the freezer on bottom, uh, ice maker built in. I'll show you when we get outside where the on-off valve for that is for winterization purposes and stuff. Uh, you have a little bit of storage up above that as well. Kind of spinning back down here to the island, you have some storage here on the left underneath the sink, along with the little sponge holder thing. Over here, you have a couple drawers that come out. And then down below that, you have the dishwasher feature as well. Spinning on back around this direction, you have again another large cabinet area here on the left where you could use for pantry space if you wanted to or something. Some overhead cabinet area there for more storage. Nice little backsplash section there, but there's also an electric outlet and USB charger ports there as well. There is a little wine cooler down here. And then you have five full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers that will pull out there. Now, looking up here, you can see this pretty cool little infinity light, little decorative light there.
grab handle to help you get in and out of the RV. You also have the fire extinguisher located right there. There is a little peephole there to kind of look outward. You also have some of your light controls here. Now, down below here is your electric box with some breakers and fuses, propane leak detector, but then there's also the central vac and dustpan vac feature right there as well. Some LED accent lighting, obviously. Over here, which we'll kind of get a little bit more into this uh, when we come back in to close things up, but your Firefly system's in there. There is like a little coat closet here, some storage. Uh, there is also some storage up above there as well. Up here on the left is gonna be our bathroom area, large bathroom area. Pretty roomy in here to be able to come in here, get undressed, get in the shower, get dressed when you get out of the shower kind of scenario. Lots of room in here to do that where some RV battery, uh, bathrooms are just really tight and sometimes you almost feel like you gotta kick people out just to be able to go take a shower. So here we have eight drawers plus a cabinet on each side. So quite a bit of storage space there. Double faucet, but one large bowl area there. Turbo exhaust fan up top. The controls for the on-demand water heater are over there on that side of the wall. Nice porcelain foot flush toilet with a little bit better lid than the traditional plastic lid you'll find on a lot of RVs. Triple sliding glass door here to kind of keep the water in where it's supposed to be. Little shelf area on each side. There is also a skylight up there. Over here you have a little bit of storage space uh, for your towels and washcloths and linens and all that type of stuff as well. Now you can obviously see the white door there, so it does have a sliding pocket door. And then you have an electric outlet over there, which is your ground fault breaker, light switch, and the fan control switches over there on that side of the wall. Pretty good size bedroom area here as well. So this one was ordered with the king size bed got an electric outlet on each side of the bed along with USB charger ports on each side of the bed as well. A window on each side of the bed does open, pull down nightshades in here. And they put kind of a little uh, end table nightstand, whatever you want to call it, up above the window there. So you got a little ledge up there where you could set your phone or maybe an alarm clock or something like that up there out of the way. Little directional reading lights there and they're currently in white mode uh, but they also turn blue if you wanted a soft blue light same thing in here you have again ducted air set up and it does have the whisper quiet airs as well you have nine dresser drawers little accent lighting down below here Another window over here that again will open. 32 inch Insignia TV. Now this customer also ordered his with the uh, electric wall cadet heater. So you have the fireplace putting out some heat. You have this putting out some heat. There is also a gas furnace as well. And then they even have an option for a heat pump as well. So you could have multiple ways of trying to heat your RV. Washer dryer prep. Now, if you wanted to do the washer dryer, it would go side by side. So basically this section of shelving comes out down here and you push in the washer dryer on each side. Kind of looks a little bit like this right here.
huge closet here to be able to walk into. You have a lot of upper shelves, uh, some lower shelves areas here, uh, but a lot of room here. Now they also order the carpet up here in the bedroom. Uh, again, you don't have to get that. You can get linoleum up here if you wanted. Um, so just kind of depending on again how you want to order it talk with your sales guy about that there's a couple lights in here also and you can see the king wi-fi system over there to try and help bring in some wi-fi from the campground and stuff Again, guys, don't forget to check out Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest discount dealers in the country, guys. We'll definitely save you guys a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Um, also, if you are interested in keeping up with my videos, uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe. Uh, you know, I try to do a lot of videos often, but unfortunately, I've been a little tied up with the new building project that we've got going on there. Uh, we've got a new 30 bay PDI service facility going in. Uh, I will eventually do a quick video on that for you guys as well and show you that here shortly. But we're going to head outside right now. I want to show you around the outside and then we'll come back in here and close it all up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the new 2021 and a half Cedar Creek Champagne 38 ERD here. And we're going to start here on the door side and kind of work our way around the RV. So first things up, this one was ordered with the optional full body paint. We'll put the color description and stuff down below. Um, but this is one of their optional paint jobs that they do offer. The unit comes standard with frameless dual pane windows on your side walls. They're deep tent safety glass windows. You have a large power awning, LED light strip built in, adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff. The unit has the six point automatic hydraulic leveling jack system. So your front two jacks, you'll have two just in front of the axles and then you'll have two more behind the axles. And you can kind of control it manually if you want to, but it's really designed to be an auto level system. You have two outdoor speakers, one here and then another one back there by the entry door in the middle there. Little pet friendly leash latch hook up here if you do have a pet to take with you. You have two 30 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator here. And down below is also a gas grill hookup area if you wanted to plug in a portable gas grill, it's already got that there. You can see how the metal rolls down nicely to the drop Z frame section there. Just trying to enclose it, make it look a little nicer and just gives a little extra style to the lower portion. The large baggage door here is held up by a magnetic holder instead of a plastic clip. It does have the slam lock baggage doors on it as well. And you can see you have quite a bit of pass through storage area right here. Back in here is a light obviously. There's an electric outlet, a cable outlet so you could do an outside TV if you wanted to. The central vac area here as well. There's also some information right back here about your Firefly system. Kind of a rubber diamond plate floor there. And then you can see the aluminum tube framing and stuff there on your bath deck. Electric outlet right here along with an outside spray port as well. You have the upgraded more ride step here. Quad step comes down, touches the ground, rated for 500 pounds. Adjustable feet for different terrain has the uh, Cedar Creek logo kind of engraved in up there. Large folding entry handle to help you get in and out of the coach. Also the model number is located right there. Has a little peep hole instead of a window in the entry door. Also has a entry door handle which does have a touch pad on it as well so you can uh, push in a code unlock your deadbolt it does not work the handle part of the lock uh, so you have two ways of manually locking it with a key or you also have your push button there 
Up top there, you can obviously see another porch light. So you have your LED light and a porch light. You also have the camera up there. This was ordered with the four camera prep system. So there is, and I forgot to mention, a camera on the front running light, one on the other front running light, and then the one over the entry door here we started talking about. And then there's gonna be one on the back. So it's pretty cool. You can see down the sides when you're driving down the road, you can see behind you, or if you really wanted to, you could even take in that monitor, get the little electric adapter that Furion sells and plug it in inside and kind of use it as a little bit of a viewing uh, monitor for around your camera and stuff for security purposes or at nighttime kind of scenario. Over here, you do have a little outside TV area here on a swing arm, so you could sit out here and watch some TV. Currently using the Dexter Axle System, and it has uh, road armor, upgraded suspension by LCI in the middle. There is also a tire pressure monitoring system on the unit. You seen the little thing when we were inside we were talking about but basically your tires have little systems on it we'll shoot it to that screen that you can put in your truck and kind of know what's going on with your tires while you're driving down the road really beautiful paint job on this unit now this was also ordered with the optional slide out awning covers so basically the top of the room has a awning that comes in and out with that room. And it basically just kind of helps shed away water, leaves, twigs, debris, helps also shade the top of that room so that the sun doesn't heat it up as bad and just kind of protects it a little bit. You have a really nice heavy duty fiberglass rear cap. This is one of the upgrades over the regular Cedar Creek. Uh, is going to be this fiberglass front cap or rear cap. And then back here you have a ton of storage back here. There's a couple lights back here as well, uh, but a lot of storage space back here to stash your goodies. And then back up in there, you can see that little control box screwed in up there. That is one of the control box for these slide outs. Uh, the back two slides are electric slides and that each one has its own little control box, one on each side of the RV there. You can see the camera up there on the back. Ladder that comes down nice and low, easy to get up on. There is a little hitch receiver down here, a little two inch hitch receiver. Now that is strictly for like a bike rack or a small luggage rack. It is not meant to tow a boat or anything like that behind it. If you wanted to do something like that, you would have to do that on an aftermarket scenario as the factory will not do that. LED tail lights and running lights, which just about everybody has that nowadays. And next up, we're gonna pop up a picture here just to kind of show you what the roof looks like. You can see things up there as far as plumbing stack vents, air conditioners, solar panel, uh, TV antenna, all that type of stuff. Remember guys, you do need to get up there from time to time, inspect that, make sure the seals and stuff look good so it don't crack open and leak. Um, you know, the sun is one of the worst enemies of that stuff. It dries it out, causing it to crack open. So just kind of get up there every now and then, wash your roof, maintain it, check that stuff out, and it should last you a really, really long time on any RV. Down below here, you can see your spare tire underneath of there. You can also see a little dump hose holder back here. The other side of the storage compartment there. There's a vent fan on the bottom of the microwave that will actually blow out up there. Just in front of this front jack is going to be your freshwater tank drain. 
Now over here is where your ice maker on off valve is. It's right underneath of there and it's also a low point drain for it. Your sewer connection dump right here. Furnace exhaust out right here. The Truma on demand water heater right here. Back in behind this part of the storage. Do you have a powered power cord reel right there? Your gray and galley and black dump handles are up here, so easy to get to. Three of the slides are hydraulic, and you can turn on and off each slide right here individually if you want to. Battery disconnect, cable satellite inlets, the front cap light switch, outside utility shower, black tank flush, water heater bypass is all right here, water pump kit right here as well. Another light up top there. And also you'll notice the roof line up there is also painted. A lot of brands you see a white rubber roof or vinyl roof, whatever they're using. Um, but right here you see a nice finished off painted roof line as well. Thicker baggage doors, really nice. And I do like the fact that this actually swings this way instead of going up. Back in behind here, can see your battery compartment area here. There's room for four batteries if you wanted to put four batteries in there. And they are on slide trays as well. Right up here is your auto level jack controls or your hitch jack controls. But basically you turn it on here and you can kind of go through and do everything. Now right below that are some stickers. We're gonna pop these up for you. The first one is going to be your main data sticker. So on that sticker, it basically tells you your production date, your gross vehicle weight sticker, your uh, VIN numbers on there as well, along with some axle information and stuff like that. Next is the unloaded vehicle weight sticker, which basically tells you what the camper weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. Next is going to be your carrying capacity sticker, which basically tells you how much gear you can load into the RV. Make sure you don't exceed that. And next is your tire sticker. Tells you your tire size, but also tire pressure. So make sure you do check your tire pressure, guys. Very, very important to do that. Up here, you can see a large storage compartment. Now, back in behind this panel on the right is where the inverter is for the residential fridge along with some other control stuff. But if you wanted to, you could order this with a generator from many of the RV manufacturers, and that would go in here on the left. Now, this one was also ordered with the Trail Air pen box here. Really nice system here, so it has kind of a shock and airbag absorber here to help with a lot of that up and down bounce. Some customers prefer More Ride. More Ride is another popular brand of hitch on the front of there. And that could be done aftermarket if you're interested. Cedar Creek doesn't offer that brand, but that could be done aftermarket. We'll pop up a picture of the front here, but really cool front end, nice paint job, some LED light strips and stuff in there as well. But overall, really nice unit here. We're going to head back inside. I want to show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now back inside the RV here. I'm going to start uh, showing you what it looks like closed with these back slides here. Um, these are located right here for the, your control switches. Basically, it just says in or out. So real simple to do. When you're ready to bring in the slide, hit the button. This is the Slim Rack Slide uh, by Lippert that they are currently using back here. It's kind of similar to the Schwintech slide that uh, you'll see on a lot of RVs as well. But pretty simple, push a button, it comes in, push a button, it goes out. 
But over here, we're going to bring in this one. And it comes right on in. Now, one thing you can kind of see here, obviously outside paint job, you've seen when we were out there, traditional white fiberglass over here, uh, which is a high gloss gel coat fiberglass. Uh, they have to use a higher grade fiberglass to paint it, but you can kind of see the difference in what it looks like side by side there. Now you can also see back here, you could still kind of come back here if you needed to um, with it closed would be tight but if you needed to kind of throw something in here or get to maybe the back cabinet or something you could kind of squeeze back in here now you would have to open up these other slides though because uh, you're not getting back here with these slides down here which you'll see here in just a second uh, but we're gonna run these right back out so you kind of see that they do work and how they work here And also, you've seen that they had the slide toppers on, uh, that optional slide topper feature. I don't know if you can see through that window very well, but that rolls in and out with that room. Same thing over here, roll it right back out. Now, one other thing that's real important to remember here, guys, you do want to make sure before you run these rooms out that those cabinet doors did not accidentally pop open somehow when you were traveling down the road. Uh, that is, again, very, very important to, you know, not damage those cabinets that you just kind of check on them. Okay, so we're going to close up the rest of the coach here. Just going to show you what that also looks like and how that works. Um, that is up here on the Firefly system. Really cool system. Uh, while we're looking here, you can see solar charge controller here. Uh, some of the power control stuff here for energy management, energy management stuff. I'm talking too much here. Uh, let's turn off this light. So you might be able to see this a little bit better. Back to the home screen here, you can see a little bit on the home screen, there's a master on off light switch right here. He just killed a whole bunch of the lights just right there and then you hit the button to turn them all back on. Now you can go into the lights and turn them on and off individually if you want to. Got one of our air conditioners controls here on the home screen for the living room section battery meter telling us what's going on water pump 12 volt tank heaters and our holding tanks all reading out right here on the home screen again into the lights right here see what's going on into the hvac system here now right here we can see all three air conditioners we can turn them on and off turn on the fans for each one of them on the main one we also have our furnace control now if you order it with the heat pump option that would be on whichever one of these you wanted to place it on. In here we have our slide controls, nicely color coded, just kind of telling us what's going on right here. So we can control our slides here. Uh, we can control our um, electric slides or our hydraulic slides, either one along with our electric awning. And then we go here to some settings you can kind of do a little bit of brightness settings for your panel. You can do uh, you know, some reset stuff here and diagnostics and all kinds of stuff for service guys and stuff. But back over to the slides. We are going to hit the hydraulic slides to retract. And basically what's going to most likely happen first is our bedroom is closing up. Our kitchen is also closing at the same time. Now, remember you have those hydraulic slide valves out there that you can turn on and off as well. 
So we're gonna go up here, just kind of show you what this looks like. Bed is in, enclosed. So I can kind of maneuver around a little bit. I could climb over the bed to get to the closet, to get to a few of the top dresser drawers. But would be usable at a rest area or a Walmart parking lot or something if you just wanted to come in and crash out for the night, take a break. Can obviously still get to the bathroom fully here. Now you can see the kitchen also came in. We're going to continue on bringing these in here. And now our other slide over here is coming in. Now I'm going to stop here for just a second. Now it's very, very important guys when you bring in these slides to make sure there's nothing in this floor, on the floor. Uh, so you don't want any rocks, pebbles, leaves, twigs, debris, whatever. Make sure that the floor is nice and clean. When this slide comes in, if there's something there, it will run it over and potentially rip your floor. So very important guys to remember to check and make sure it's clean. On in the rest of the way here. So with this slide closed, we can still come back in here. I could get to my refrigerator, load it from a grocery store or whatever. Uh, I could even still come in here, wash my hands if I needed to. I got access to this type of stuff. You know, obviously, unless you're climbing over this island, you are not getting to the back without opening up the slide. You're not really able to sit at the dinette or use the oven and stuff there. You might be able to kind of stretch over and use the uh, microwave convection oven, but at that point you'd have to have the generator for power or something along those lines if you're just kind of doing some boondock camping. But real easy to do. Hit the extend button. Slides are going to start going back out. The bedroom starts moving first. These will creep out a little bit while the bedroom is moving. When the bedroom gets all the way out, then these usually kick in and move a little bit quicker. And we're done pretty quick and easy. Thanks again guys for checking out my videos. Really, really do appreciate you.